how does she speak in that German accent while working the pace of a soap? How does she get on that flight in Fear of the Walking Dead? We're going to talk about all of that. Miss Kathleen Gotti is here next. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Hello, you guys. Welcome to this GH edition of Spotlight On here on After Buzz TV. I am one of your hosts, James Law Jr., and we're so excited to be here. I brought in my other girl from GH. <laughs> The girl who spells her name for you because it's hard to find, <laughs> Lucretia Lyon. Hey, guys. And, of course, it's L-A-C-R-E-T-I-A-L-Y-O-N anywhere on the Internet since there is only one. There's only one. I looked. <laughs> yeah. There's only one. Okay. She's been a working actress for a while now. She has recently been nominated for a daytime Emmy for a digital series called Winter Throne, which I saw and was beautifully visually shot. I mean, that, that whole series was so beautiful. She's also in the Fear the Walking Dead companion series, uh, Flight 462, make sure I say it correctly. And you know her as the unconventional Dr. Liesl Obrecht on ABC's hit daytime drama, General Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, and everybody in between, Kathleen Gotti. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Guten Abend, everyone from around the world. And this is Dr. Liesl Obrecht, or Kathleen Gotti. <laughs> <laughs> or whoever you want me to be today. Exactly. I love it. it doesn't matter. <laughs> I love it. Well, welcome to the show. Ha ha happy, ha happy to be here. Exactly. Very <laughs> happy to see you, Lucretia. Yeah. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> well, we've been already becoming fast friends off camera already. I mean, folks, she is super nice. You guys have no idea. Not so true. If, you see, no, if you see her in public, don't throw things at her. She's actually oh, nice. Oh, I did. Yeah. People stop me. Okay. Usually, Trader Joe's, I'm mm -hmm. usually stuffing my face, tapping. <laughs> <laughs> And You're like, too. are you? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> hang on. Yeah, and using my sweats, I'm like, from the gym yeah, or something. Exactly like, right. Yeah, exactly right. Like, oh, it's you, it's you, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> they, do, they, they say do that, it's kind of crazy. Um, okay, so first of all, where did you come from? Who are you? Where did you come from? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a patch somewhere? Somewhere, somewhere. Well, well okay, in, in a nutshell, yes. a big nut, a huge nutshell. <laughs> I, was, I was made in Hungary, somewhere on the road. Ooh. My parents were <laughs> escaping the country during the revolution. They're like, yeah, let's get out of here. Wow. And uh, they did not know that I was en route. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing they wanted was a child and immigrants. Wow. Anyway, but they ended up in Montreal, and I popped okay. out there, and they were they were in a plane crash. Oh. Then they said, we're not getting back on a plane, three months in a sanatorium. Then they were on a, on a boat. They took wow. a boat. They said, we're not getting back on a boat. We're going to just... You know, and the boat was like the worst crossing ever from oh. I think you know England to Montreal or something. Anyway, oh my God. and my mother wasn't feeling good. Turns out she was pregnant. Oh <laughs> wow! It wasn't just the sea. Like, yeah, yes. So and they were like, oh goody goody, immigrants with a kid. But anyway, I, I grew up in Montreal till I was nine. Then we moved to Victoria, British Columbia. Oh wow! What I studied ballet. That was my thing. I wanted, oh, My wow. father was a symphony conductor. Oh wow! My mother was an opera singer, so I grew up with all this music. Oh my yeah. God! I just all I wanted to do was express myself through the music because I didn't know anything else except yeah. the music and my parents didn't want me to become a musician okay because they knew how tough that was so yeah. I became a ballerina that was all I just ate drank ballet that's all I wanted wow. to do and I did that for several years I went to Seattle studied with first chamber dance company okay. and and then I started doing a little modeling and some acting a little singing yeah. and I thought I should go to New York New York actually or or I wanted to join the Bolshoi oh wow yeah, like that was yeah. my big big mm. dream so yeah, sure. my mother said well with a thick Hungarian accent. If you want to go to the book, mm -hmm. so you better study Russian. So I, <laughs> I studied Russian, University of Washington. Oh, wow. And then I decided to go to New York Yeah. for a little little break, uh, bit. And then I had an injury. Stopped, I hurt my back, which was such a blessing because mm. I... It, dancing, was, it's just one of the hardest things, ballet. Yeah, I'm but sure. I'm starve sure. yourself all the time, and I like to eat. And <laughs> <laughs> did I say that? Oh. But you no, know, no, I mean, it's just such a hard life physically, yeah. and, and it's a short career. And I, I oh, wow, yeah. want to, I, I love what I do, and I really want to do it forever. I mean, there's no reason to stop unless. Yeah. You're tired, you're old, you know, something hurts. Like I said, roll right. me out at 90, roll, roll me out. Me I can too. still say hi, I'm James Bond Jr. <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah. I, right. exactly. It's like I just right. really enjoy what I do. So I, I started studying acting, and it was so exciting because I did some in high school, some plays. Actually, I wrote, directed, and produced my first and started in my first play when I was eight. Oh, my God. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Great, great, too. And I, Great I was producer. Already, I was already a producer, and I did some <laughs> producing. So I was already like, I want to, you know, I yeah. already had some dreams. And I think I just... I was so excited to find acting because it was a voice I could express the emotions and somebody could write the words that I didn't know how to yeah. write them but I could express so I was really grateful I found that path 
Yeah. And once I found that, it was like, <gasps> and I still did some dancing and singing yeah. in New York, some musical theater, and, and bit by bit, I found that just acting was my really, yeah. my main niche. Yeah, the Canadian, Lucretia, you like the Canadians. Oh yes, I'm a big hockey buff, so I've been, James knew what my next question was, yes. so uh -oh. you <laughs> lived in Montreal till you were nine, nine. and then, then you moved Victoria. to Victoria. So are you a Canadians or a Canucks fan? Well, I can't say because I don't want to make people mad so I love them all I, I, I love them all but I went to my high school yeah. reunion actually a couple months ago and uh -huh. one guy he he um, was was uh, every day he was our newspaper delivery guy and I had a crush on him don't tell my husband <laughs> yeah. I, I had a crush on him don't tell him yeah. don't tell him no 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 and he used to bring the newspaper every day at 5 o'clock in the morning and I'd go outside with grapefruit slices mm -hmm. what else do you give your newspaper boy here grapefruit slices because I was eating those at home and he and I and he studied hockey. That was his oh, wow. big, you know. He was going to become a hockey player, so he didn't. But I was still. It was really cool too. <laughs> that was my closest thing to hockey. <laughs> but, um, We're going to show some pictures of you, and I want you to just kind of comment because I'm like, folks, you see her just with the dark hair as Lisa Albrecht, but let's show you some other colors of hair she's had um, that are just beautiful. Purple. Uh, we need to find any of those, but the blonde. Mm. Make you blonde. Yeah, that's oh, wow. that's the real me, actually. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, I was born blonde, and oh, and no. um, actually about five years ago, I was asked to do a film in Hungary, in Sweden and Romania, and they said, for this part, we need you to cut your hair short and dye it black. Oh wow! Oh, wow. And I, I had a meltdown. I was like, Come on, what's the matter with wigs? And the director was like, No, no, you have to have, you know, it's natural. And I was like, Okay. And I, I asked, you know, my husband, and he said, Well, it's kind of hot, you know, because then I don't have to have affairs because you'll look like another woman. Oh, this is perfect. This yes, is really good. I like that. Yeah. It's, it's, so I was like, Okay. But I did have a meltdown at the the yeah. day. I, mean, I was in Hungary, and they were starting to cut my hair, and I had to call my husband, who's back in in L.A. And I was like, Did you want to cut my hair? Oh my God. And they, and I'm I'm not a diver. Yeah, yeah, everything, oh, yeah. but but I did have a moment of I can't do this. And I'm like, sure. And they were like, okay, it's first day of work. Hmm. <laughs> what are we dealing with? I had a big meltdown. I had to call my husband. I went out there and he said, it's okay, it'll grow back. All right. So I went back. And I, okay, go ahead. <laughs> That was the first day. That's how we started the shoot. <laughs> then we found out I was okay, but that was oh, not a good it. way to start. Like, I can't get Women are very attached to their hair, James. Yeah, I, know I they are. cried I've, when I've, my hair was yeah. dark, and I'm yeah. like, no, I'm a blonde. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it's that Samson yeah. thing. Yes. You yeah. really, I had yeah. my strength. My hair was always long, and I always had a no. sense of strength from it. So, But it was fun, and I had it short, and, and then I started booking jobs with the dark hair, and so it's kind of hard to go back. See, you know, so, but I have blonde wigs. If anybody wants blonde or red, so she'll, okay. she'll be, be blonde in a second. Don't worry, she'll be blonde in a second. Okay, show the next picture. A beautiful hair too. So some years back, beautiful. Be I was oh. hosting the Hungarian Film Festival. There we go. And that was actually was that the one hosting the Hungarian Film Festival? I'm not sure. Or the picture when I was in Meet the Fockers, and that was the premiere yeah, at yeah. Universal, <laughs> Universal Studios. I think that was. Yeah, the you premiere. were Meet the Fockers also. Yeah. It's just a beautiful. People were like, fun. "Dang, she was beautiful." Uh, yeah, I so was. Blonde. I was young. It's a blonde. It's it was a blonde. my She's... blonde days when I was young, and that was an old lady. I'm back here, covering the grays. My mother says, as long as she has twenty, thirty dollars in her pocket, she will never have gray hair. <laughs> Next picture. Never have gray. That's oh. kind of a little reddish in that one. Yes. That was I amazing. like that. It's very Daphne from Scooby Doo. Yeah, that, was from, <laughs> that, yeah. that was a red carpet thing from 24. Mm. When okay. I played the first lady. Mm. Well, that was Russian. I'm sorry, that was a different accent. Yeah, on 24. That was the first yeah. lady in 24. I remember yeah, that. The first lady of Russia, Anya Suvorov. That was such a great role. 24 and is so good. It was one of the best jobs. People were really? fabulous. Great work. Kiefer Sutherland Kiefer. was a doll. <laughs> I've met we Kiefer. had such a blast having a nice yeah, guy. Nice, nice guy. guy. Just yeah. awesome. Who's been around in the business a long time too and gets it. He's been around the business a long time. I mean, yeah. he's you know part of the from Canada. Him and his yeah, dad. Another Canadian. Another Canadian. Another Canadians. Well, not taking our jobs. No. Yeah. <laughs> Next, they, 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 they have one more. I wasn't sure if I have one more or not. Oh, the wall. Well, that, well in that picture, as the wall, <laughs> I uh, I wanted to blend in. And, uh, you did so well. I, I do, so, I do. So I'm well. an actress. We can do whatever you, you guys want. Ones? We morph. Well, you look wonderschön <laughs> both ways, Kathleen. <laughs> Daniela says. Oh, schön. Thank you. Wunderschön. Danke sehr. Danke sehr. Very good. So that's you with the Fear of Walking Dead Flight 462 oh, series. Oh, yes, yes. Looking very perturbed. <laughs> yes, you were perturbed. I just wanted to show that picture there. Yeah, it was okay. very perturbing. Uh, uh, perturbulence. <laughs> <laughs> So let's talk. Let's talk about the Walking Dead Flight 562 kind of digital series that came out of this. Like, when did it come into your orbit? Because you weren't on the Fear of the Walking Dead or the Walking Dead. It just kind of. You know what? I I've done some work with the casting director that Wendy O'Brien 
Lynn's fantastic. She did Carnival and oh, okay. Igby's. We've done a lot of work together over the years. And she called me in for an audition. And it was a very secret project. We didn't know what it was for. She wow. said, it's, it's a project. We can't really tell you much about it. But just come on in. And it's, it was called Rhino 225 or something like that. <laughs> We didn't know, and and I read some material that had nothing to do with the show, and they just wanted to see what you did. And I could was it a comedy or drama? I couldn't tell. Anyway, and and the audition was good, yeah. And left, you know, you, you this is this is the career. You go, you do your best, and you leave. Mm -hmm. And the rest is up to God, the universe, nature. Yeah. They like you, they don't like you. You got the wrong hair color. Right. It, it's ridiculous, uh, you know how, how yeah. it's all kind of yeah. comes out. So you just you can't you have to let it go. Yeah. Did the audition, went home. I don't remember how long, maybe, you know, a couple of weeks later, they're like, oh, we're so excited, are you going to be part of this thing? I'm like, what is it? And then we found out. It's wow. like, oh my God, Fear the Walking Dead, Flight, yeah. and it was called Flight 225 first. Okay. Yeah. But they, we shot it and then they went, no, nah, that number quite, mm, they, the musicality, then they tried 362, you know, they tried a couple of numbers yeah. and it was this, anyway, they landed on 462. But it was such a great project. Um, there were seven of us, and wow. I have to say, one actor was better than the other. You know, it was such an incredible group of excited, enthusiastic people. We knew we were on something amazing. Yeah. And the director, um, Michael McDonough, who is actually the DP for Fear the Walking Dead. Okay, okay. And he's directed some stuff, and he was fantastic, and yeah. he knew the camera. And we were in a small space. Oh, wow. We we shot at Air Hollywood, which is oh. not far from here, yeah. North Hollywood, and there's a couple of airplanes there, the insides. Yeah. And a lot oh. of the films that you've seen that have shot that yeah. take place on airplanes were shot wow. here. So we were in this tiny little place working together with a great group of crew and, and yeah. make people. And and we shot and shot with like 18 hour days. So we didn't care. Wow. We were exhausted. We were like, we, I don't want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, but it was just this phenomenal, yeah. because the energy is so palpable and you just feel it. And people yeah. are just excited. And it's hard to have that when, you, when you're working every single day on different things, you know, to keep that excitement, that energy, and to work 18 hours a day. I mean, you can only do that yeah. for a certain amount of time. Yeah, yeah. But it was like such an exciting uh, project, and we had yeah. we had a great time. And, and also, the material was fantastic. It was yeah. amazingly written, and we were just like, oh, what, you know, what's, what's happening? <laughs> and, and the end result, they showed 16 short yeah, well, snippets, snippets or like it, yeah. 45 seconds or 60 mm -hmm. seconds every week during The Walking Dead. Yep, we did. And, and um, those those pieces were such a small piece that we shot so much material. Oh, wow. I mean, it started out, you know, we get on a plane and people didn't please sit yes. down and it's very nice, mm -hmm. you know. And then as the agitation was like, now there's a problem. Oh, there's a problem, you know. <laughs> Houston, we're having a problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it was a big yeah, problem, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and like Aries were blacking out, and it, it was getting, it was more and more. And then all of a sudden, the first episode, I'm, you know, it starts here. I'm like, sit. <laughs> sit the BP down, or I'm gonna chop your head off. You know, that's how I'm like quickly. It, yes. Yeah, it, was it does quick. It's fast. And I'm like, but they didn't show how I was nice to people. Uh -huh. like, show when I was pleasant. Would you like a coffee? Sit down, please. Fuck your seatbelt. Now sit down. <laughs> mm. So, but it was it was incredible. I'm I'm just so grateful to that project. It was it was a blast. Just really proud of the team that yeah. I worked with. It was great. Well, Lucretia, your question. Um, well, uh, there were several questions uh, having to do with Dr. Olbrecht. Dr. Olbrecht. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Dr. So, Olbrecht. Yes. O B R E C H T. Oh. Don't you forget, it's not Albrecht, <laughs> Olbrecht, it's Olbrecht. <laughs> Simran Singh had one. Lisa. Of my... <laughs> Simran uh, Singh wants to know, is Dr. O going to get a love interest? I think I'll <laughs> she it up. I would like so. Don't tell my husband. Yeah. But, uh, yes, <laughs> well, I don't know. I well, hope so. Well, here's the thing. Oh, there's a good point bringing up that Lucretia mm -hmm. brings up and Simran brings up. You have to, you have to work briefly with my buddy, Tail Pangolus, who Tail. I love him love so Tail. much. Yeah. When I first met him, he goes, James, you're trouble, but in a good way. That's yeah. the first time I met him. <laughs> now we're buddies. <laughs> um, but so yeah. I was working with him and working with, I mean, come on, working with, with Anders Ho. Mm -hmm. I mean, just like... You know, General Hospital, I have to say, has some amazing actors. And every time I get a script, I'm like, who do I get to work with today? It's always fun, because I need variety. I'm the kind of person that's like, don't put me in the room, with the same yeah. thing, I can't eat the same food twice a day, you know, or yeah. I need stimulation. And every day, because when I get a script, it's like, oh, who's there today? Yeah. Today's so-and-so, it's so-and-so, yeah. it's great. So each person brings different colors, different challenges, different, you know, I have to adjust the character, yeah. I have to adjust the personality, and I have to adjust my own personality because, like, oh, this person I can be more friendly with, or more sexy with, or this, you know, or more casual, oh. more reserved because everyone has their personality. So I also, and I do too. So I have yeah. to kind of adjust accordingly. But I really like it because each character, Doctor Obert, has a different relationship with 
every single mm -hmm. person on the show. She and does. I try to keep it interesting because, you know, it's like it's not the same with my son as it was with my daughter, as it was with Teo's character, Victor Cassidy. Yeah. Or with you know, on yeah, on yeah. Yeah, no, you're actually correct. It is every character, every person. Like, well, I like this week with you mm -hmm. and, and Maxi kind of bonded. That, that was one of my favorite insane. episodes. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to talk yeah. about it on our other yeah. show later, but it was such a most interesting. Well, I said to Frank, Frank Valentini last mm -hmm. week, I saw him on, when I was working last week, and I said, Frank, can I have some more of those, you know, scenes like like the ones when he goes, yeah, I'll get on right on it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Frank, you're not listening. She met Frank. Like, she met Frank at the Emmys. So, yeah. yeah, no, no, no. He was great. He's like, I'll get right on it. Like, you know, because they have to share the wealth, yeah, literally, because we can't all be, yeah. you can't all be emotional and fantastic, you know, give, right. give your heart. It's mostly like that, da, 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 da. and then it's like, oh, my baby, or, you know, yeah. something. So the show needs that. Yeah. But I'm, I'm begging, like, can I have a little softness? Because I'm, you know, I feel like yeah. I'm too tough. Because you do have yeah. it with, with Ryan Pivey's character, your son, Nathan, because you were hard on Brits. We love some Kelly Thibault, first of all. Oh, I love the Brits. Do you miss her? I mean, could you miss her? I mean, like I do. You know, the it was so so cool because I had been on the show. I was only came on for two episodes. Right. That was really that means a lot to me because yeah. I did two episodes and again I'm cast for a year. I'm cast for you know two seasons on 24, two days on here, oh. three years on that, two, whatever it is. Come in, do the job, go home. This was a two day job, and they brought me back and mm. and I remember coming back and and they said you have a daughter. And I was like I'm gonna start. Crying. Mm. I was like I have a daughter. <laughs> you know, it, was, it meant so much, yeah. and she's a beautiful girl, and, yes. and then they gave me a son, and I just, because I don't have children, and I think it just meant mm. a lot. I know, you're the architect, I love that. Thank you. Oh, I, I love that. No, but I was, it just it's meant you were, you were grateful yeah. because, it was really gratitude. Grateful. It was, you're in gratitude yeah. because they actually decided to build a family around this two-day character. It was fantastic. Yeah, it That's meant a amazing. lot. It really meant That's a lot. It's amazing. And Mark Tessner, we love him, the casting, who Mark won the Tessner's, Emmy. Mark Tessner's mm. amazing man. It's a ninth man. Emmy. You go in his office, like, I know. But he's some of the hang heat keys and some, you know, <laughs> his handkerchief. But he's such <laughs> a nice guy inside and out. He is. And, and he, he cares knows. about it. Do you know what? I met him. This is for you actors out there. Tell him. Mm -hmm. Tell him. Give up. I auditioned for him. I, I was in Europe. So uh, you asked me my story and I'm yeah, go yeah. back. But anyway, so I, I, I did go to New York. I stayed in, I had a choice to go to LA or New York and I decided I want to be really trained. Mm -hmm. So okay. theater trained. So I went to New York and I studied with everybody. Wow. I didn't go to Juilliard. My parents couldn't afford it, but it was like, okay, I'll study with everyone. Mm -hmm. So I did. I, and I had a, I think I had a quite a good foundation. Yeah. And studied there, did tons of theater. Wow. Tons and tons of theater. And then started doing television, things like that. And started on All My Children. I, oh, that was my daughter. first oh, break yeah. with, with oh, more opposite Maurice back in 8990. Oh. Oh. Oh, I know, it was like... But he was Nico. He oh, was Nico. Yeah. It was Cecily and Nico. Yes. And I, played, I was Taffy Winslow with blonde, blonde, white hair, claws <laughs> oh, out here, and I was God. really... So I was really bitchy. I don't know why. But then, I loved all my children. Yeah, me too. So did I. Yeah. It was such a good... And that's when I first started, and people would stop me in the street, and they were like... Oh. And I thought, oh, this is Spain. Mm. And people would stop me, and they're like, you, it, you are not my children. <laughs> <laughs> You're Taffy Winslow. I'm like... Yes, yeah. like you're such a bitch. <laughs> and they left wow. no autographs. They didn't. And they hated the character with a vengeance. And I was like, oh, that don't, this doesn't feel yeah. good. It didn't. Mm. Anyway, long story short, I was heading out to LA, and my mom got sick, and she was terminally ill. So yeah. I went back to Canada for a year, and then I went to Hungary for a couple of months to do a film, and stayed for six years. It wow. just turned into an incredible wow. experience, and I kind of felt that was. I was Continue my parents' footsteps because yeah. they had to leave for the revolution. Oh, they were in the back. arts. You know, my dad was conducting. My mother was an opera uh, singer. She was a beautiful woman. She, they wanted to put her in films, and so I kind of continue where they left off. Oh, so, so. that's amazing! Mm -hmm. so it was full a, it circle was, moment. It was a full circle moment. Six beautiful, amazing years there, yeah. and then I thought, you know, my original plan was L.A. You know, Hollywood. Yeah. So I thought, I'm give myself three years here. I had a great career in Hungary, yeah, in Europe, and did a lot of work there. And I thought, let me give myself three years in Hollywood. If it doesn't work, I'll go back because yeah. I have a life, a home, friends, a yeah. country of 10, 11 million people that adopted me and loved me and respected uh, me. And I felt like I was an artist, a respected artist. Mm. So I really didn't want to leave that. But I thought, you know, my I, I always say everyone should live your dream. Whatever it is, pursue it two thousand percent. I agree. Mm. Because you only have this life, however long we're allowed to be here, and you know, just live it. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, live it fully. That's why I think it's awesome. Mm. You're a comedian, it's yeah. so great. Oh, no, she's you. brave. They're yeah, brave. I, I, you know, people say you should do stand up. I'm like, I don't think so. I, we just talked earlier too. I was like, I don't no, know, no, brave no. yet. <laughs> Maurice brave. does stand up. He Maybe does. He'll get you up there one day. Yeah, Maurice yeah. Bart does. But no, but you, you're right. We're all we're all here yeah. living yeah. our dream. You live your dream, but so I'm I'm actually getting back to okay to um. So I, I decided, so I gave myself three years and I came here and then I met Mark Teschner. And oh. I was 40 
And yeah. I was, I came to LA and people were like, you're too old for Hollywood. You really should oh, go I back heard, to Europe. I've heard that. Oh. And I'm yeah. like, I'm sorry, I'm an actress. I can play somebody's mother. I don't need yeah. to play the 15 year old ingenue. I'm okay with being somebody's mother or yeah. grandmother or evil, <laughs> can evil doctor. <laughs> I don't care. I just right. want to work. I want to express and entertain people and make them laugh or cry. I don't care. And he didn't call me. I, I did a workshop, I think, where I met him. I, he didn't call me for 14 years. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. 14 years. And I had this audition. And then we were talking like a year or two ago after, you know, I've been there a couple yeah. of years and we're family. And I said, I'm just curious, why didn't you bring me in earlier? <laughs> and he said, you know, I was just... You, you can do something that a lot of people can't. So I was saving you for the right role. Like, wow. 14 years yeah. ago. <laughs> but he remembers. And I, I'd keep yeah. in touch because I really think, you know, you have to market yourself and keep yes, in touch do. with people and let them know that mm -hmm. you exist and you work. That's so, very true. So that's my sad little that. story. As people but a happy that. story. No, it's, it's like, like a happy story. Mm -hmm. It is. Yes. We're going to show a, a clip of uh, Dr. Liesel from GH. Uh, it's been a while. It was a few years ago, but I just love just this clip. It's really fun with Kimberly McCullough, my girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, no. Please. No. 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 <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, forgive the theatrics, mate, and I simply couldn't resist seeing the look on your face. I thought you would guess the game before I revealed my true identity. One would think you'd be all too aware of what a good mask can do. <laughs> Here you went sicker than I thought you were. Made you more weak. Tell me, who wins? <laughs> Where's Jerry? So I just want to show that. See, I just it's kind of funny because just that's when you were really evil back oh, then. You know, it's so funny to look at. It. It's been three years. Yeah, three know. years. Yeah. But it's just been so because I've been on the show now four. Yeah, four years, four July, years you guys. Will be four years. Four years. I can't believe it. But wow. I have gotten to do so many interesting things. Yes, it's probably the most interesting role I've done because Dr. Obert has so many sides to her personality. And yes, she does. Plus, there's so much more fun stuff coming up. Ooh, I can't tell you. Oh, so excited, Lucretia. Um, yeah, that actually brings me to Carolyn Topol's question, where she asks, what do you like better, like the pace of soaps or more like a weekly series, since you've done so much Ooh. of that? Yeah. <clears throat> well, <laughs> <laughs> let me just say that soaps are not for the lighthearted. Is that the one? No, it's the, not. It's oh, not. I mean, faint, faint at heart. Faint at heart, faint thank at heart. you. Yeah, my English not so good. <laughs> Seriously, um, it's the tempo, I mean, we shoot, I don't know how many episodes a day, sometimes. How do you keep that accent? Seven. How do you keep the accent I and practice. do it? I do a lot of homework. Okay. My husband helps me. We run lines like crazy, sometimes till 2, 3 in the morning. And the accent, because it's not just learning the lines for me. I'm, Yes, the accent, I have to layer it in and get it mm -hmm. to the right places and everything. But what, what I want to say, each line has a different feeling. What's the, am I killing? Am I happy? Am I silly? Am I laughing? You know, I really think these things through because I'm a trained theater actor. I'm classically trained. I can't just like learn the lines and go and say them because that's not how I work and that's not what I want to do as an actress. So whenever I can, I take every tool that I have learned and used and, and try to incorporate into the material. So, and then the pace is incredibly fast. For someone like me, it's actually a little fast paced because I'm more, I've had to speed up. I mean, it, it, mm. again, it's like I have to keep up with the show. It doesn't matter, whatever project you're on, you have to go with the flow. So, you know, you get the material one or two days or three days or four, if you're lucky, a couple of days right. longer, and then I work it. But you go in there, there's four or five cameras. You say one line here, the other line here, the other line here, you, and go wow. from here to there and there to here, and they give it to you in five minutes, you write it down, you're like blah, blah, blah. And it's like you have to be on your toes and you have to know your material and, and because we have one take. Right. Only if you make a big boo-boo or if there's a technical like a boom or something, yeah. then we'll reshoot it. And they don't like it. And they told me, don't change the material. And I wouldn't, because Obrecht is so well written. Yeah. And style, she speaks with fl flourish and color. Mm -hmm. And so I, there isn't, I'm not a writer. I wouldn't want to interfere with the writing. And it's so well written that I, I wouldn't mess with it. So the tempo, it's very fast. It's, it's tough like crazy. So I honestly, if no one's listening, I prefer the <laughs> prime time, because you have, yeah. you know, like when we shot, we, when we shot um, *Fear the Walking Dead*, we had 18 hours a day, and we'd shoot a couple of scenes. Right here, you know, in in two three hours, we shot one or two episodes. Wow. It's amazingly fast. So the tempo again, it's it's really it's a tough fast pace. But I love it. I've been there yeah. four years. I feel like I'm family. I fit it. You know, I'm kind of it's growing on me. It took me years. I have to say now I'm starting to really feel more comfortable, which I 
I'm never comfortable because that's no, not who I am. No. I'm not that person. It was yeah. like, oh, yeah, go in. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing the line. Let's have a conversation about, so what did you do last night? Oh, really? Are you kid? I'm like, don't talk to me. I don't have to over it. I'm focusing my lines. I'm really, I'm like, please don't talk to me. Please. And, 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 you know, they have these cameras and all of us, and I'm sure all the people in the booth go, here she goes again. I'm this like, is good. don't talk to me. And they're like, please, I'm focusing. I'm focusing. So I'm, I'm, that's just who I am. I'm like, really, you know, and then, I, then I'm done. I'm like, okay, now we can have cookies. Hi, it's yeah. 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 Uh, Roger Howarth. Another a, a daytime legend. Thank How you. is it working with him? Because you, well, you, Liesel and Franco have this kind of relationship. They have a great relationship. Yeah. Actually, he's the only person that Liesel gets along with. Yeah. That she feels safe with her son too. Yeah. But yeah. Franco's her friend. Nathan's her son. Yeah. And you know she turns to her son for warmth and support. But Franco's her, the only person she thinks is her friend. Well, you went off on him this week. Well. Well, he deserved it. I mean, you know, <laughs> the only person, yeah. come on, Obex, who's, you know, yeah. she's in this town, in this place, she's given up her life there, she's given up Faison, she has nobody, she has nothing. Yeah. The only, only person she can turn to doesn't give a poo-poo. Yeah. You know, her son's been shot. I'm trying yeah. to be polite, but yes. I'm, I'm a national uh, around the world. I'm such a lady. So, but, you know, the only person that really cares, that'll, that'll you know, she thinks or thought, you know, he's a genius. She's in, in yeah. overwhelmed, you know, loves, loves geniuses like Faison. Yeah. And then, you know, Franco's a, he's an artistic genius, she thinks. So for, that, was a, that was a big letdown. Yeah. Big letdown when and and I think it was overwhelming for her that only a person yeah. wasn't there for her son. Then that that was like a big, yeah. you know, ache heartache. So Steve, we want to start, we want to take some phone calls. Yeah. Steve, so can you put the phone number in the chat if you can? We'll take some phone calls. In the meantime, I want to just mention Winterthorn because you were nominated for a daytime Emmy. Oh yes, mm -hmm. that was awesome. What was it like being nominated? Well, I was sitting getting my nails done when I got the phone out. call. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh, well, you know. I, I'm sitting there because you know I'm like, I have my nails done. Well, because I, you know, for the show, I have to yeah. have my hair colored, yes. my nails done, certain things that are. That's. I hope the IRS is listening. This is for you. <laughs> I have to have my nails done, and I have to keep my hair colored. <laughs> so it's not for fun. <laughs> So I'm having my nails done, <laughs> and actually, this salon it was one of those weekdays I go with you know off time because yeah. when, I, when I'm working or something at home, so it wasn't crowded. And I'm sitting there, and there's there's a lady working on me. She's very nice, and one other customer over there, and a couple of people who work there, and they're just sitting there. And I'm like, I had the phone. He had the phone. You know, <laughs> oh, God, it's Michael Caruso calls me. He's the creator of the yes, show. Yes, Michael, like, he's a great guy. I just wanted you to know, and I saw in the morning that the the announcements were out, and I didn't hear. I figure, oh well, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's okay, but he called me, and I have to figure. He's, he's like, "Hey, how you doing?" I'm like, "Okay, I have my nails done, you know." And I figured he was going to say that you didn't, yeah. you know. And he said, "Just so you know," he said, well, you, "You know, you nominate for an Emmy." And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> burst into tears because it's a big deal. Yeah. It's, and I just and I was like, and there and the lady's looking at me. You know, like. You know, like a lot, like a lot of good. Sorry. I love it. She's a woman of accents. So I love it. I, I, sorry, I don't mean to offend anyone. I yeah. just think, you know, I'm it's like, accent. I'm my accent. She's an accent. So, yeah, and, and, I, you know, and I'm like, no, 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 it's good. I just, but it's I couldn't fine. explain. I was like, yeah, I mean, nomination. And yes. there was a woman, I said, well, I've just been nominated for Emmy. They're like, we don't know what that is. Oh, okay. But the woman was like, she goes, so that's nice. You know, because. Right. Anyway, but but it was uh, it was very exciting, and, and it's a big deal. I'm very honored yeah. because. I, I have won awards and I've been nominated for yeah. other things internationally in Europe and I won and, and it's it always means a lot to me when people you know give you some recognition and but an Emmy is a yeah. big deal yeah it, it it's is. an Amer it's a big international award mm -hmm. and it it represents the television the shows that are yeah. everywhere yeah. and people say well it's a web series I'm sorry web series now uh, Fear the Walking Dead Flight yeah. 462 is a web series 17 yes. million people watching yes. that's a lot of people it and, it doesn't matter. and people are watching first on their phones and then on their computers and, mm -hmm. and on television mm -hmm. so it doesn't that media doesn't matter anymore us I mean, here we're, that we're here yeah, we're a web high series world. and you, we're in the world right. this is an international right medium so it's fantastic and, and to be recognized which it's huge yeah. and I'm so grateful for the nomination we went my husband and I went to the yeah. the Emmys yeah. and it was just one of the best nights of our life it was fantastic Aww. and the fact we didn't win people were winning I'm like I want to hold one it was gorgeous <laughs> the statue <laughs> is one of the most beautiful awards I have ever seen and I and I look forward to you know hopefully winning I've held one once I've held one yeah, held a daytime yeah. Emmy. yes it was yeah. fun they yes. may bring it later if you're here yeah oh, it's, it's, it's just beautiful but I just the fact that you know being nominated is such an honor and I went home totally happy with that that, that was yeah. just that recognition just felt so good and i was competing against you know four really great yes. women and yeah. it was an honor so i'm totally good i didn't go home I, yeah I, I was i do want one because they're beautiful yeah but, but 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, f- you know, folks, Winter Thorn is, is a series. You can watch it. It's uh, Michael Caruso, my girl Martha Madison. You guys know her from Days of Our Lives. Um, there's two people who are who are in it. There's many people who are in it. You played her aunt. Yes. Yeah, Valentina. Valentina, mm-hmm. Valentina Winter. She was good. It's mm-hmm. it's gorgeously filmed. About this candy family. It's just it's just beautiful the way it's yes, filmed. It's beautifully filmed. Yes. It was a very clever idea. It was yeah. nominated for an yeah. show was nominated for an Emmy. Kevin Spiritus is not was nominated Kevin, for an Emmy. Kevin, Days of Our Lives also yeah. another one. Yes. So no, it was really, really good. It's at Winterthorn.com. W I N T E R T H O R N E dot com. Oh uh, Steve, so you say is the number so the number is posted, I guess. I don't mm-hmm. so we can I guess people can call in. Are you showing clips? Are you shooting clips? So call in, you guys. Call in so we can uh, talk to you guys. You can ask some questions to her. Um, we could ask, uh, you Do you have a clip more. from Winterthorn? Mm-hmm. Lauren? No. I don't. <gasps> I just showed a picture of it. Oh, no, no, no. There's a clip. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll post it online. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. But any questions in there? You can go ahead. Well, well, we've had a lot of people, and I had the same question as well, oh, ask thank you. about... Um, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for all those <laughs> Emmy wishes. Thank yes. you. Next year. But you played Rasa, the queen's maid in the Arrow pilot, but um, we were hoping you would be a regular, especially being, you know, an integral part of the family, it seemed, in that episode. But do you know what happened there? I was invited mm-hmm. to do a guest star role mm-hmm. uh, in the pilot, and we shot in Victoria and Vancouver, mm-hmm. where I grew up. And there was buzz about, you know what, we, we, might, we might bring you in to do a lot more stuff. And then, and then some ideas changed and whatever happened. I mean, it's a long story. But it didn't work out. But it was kind of a, what happened was, you know how I was devastated because I thought this would be awesome. My father was dying yeah. there. And yeah. unfortunately, he was in the hospital and he was dying. And, and it was a really hard time. And, but it was in Victoria where I grew up, in mm. Vancouver. And so I felt like this, is, this was meant to be. But I, didn't, I wouldn't be with my husband who were mm. newlyweds a couple of years. We just got mm. married like that week or something or the oh, following wow. the following week but that was in March and we got married in April so I'm a newlywed and I had waited half a century because I'm like <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so it would have been but do you know what that's when I got General Hospital see so see, you know everything happens everything for a happens reason, for yeah. a reason. reason. And, and I love that show and I've since mm. worked with David Nutter we did another uh-huh. pilot together mm. he's awesome he's he was the yeah. uh, executive producer he's he's executive produced 20 or 22 shows and most oh of them have gone God. to series he's just a, like Flash and and uh, oh na- natural. He's a genius. And he's most, a genius. You know, I am yeah. a nerd and the with a lot of guy. our fans and watch all those shows. So we yeah. all keep up together. <laughs> no, he's yeah. just amazing. And we did another pilot together that was just fantastic. So, you know, great people to work mm. with. And but but because of that, yeah. I didn't get. I got General Hospital. I got to stay married and home. Didn't you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, at this point in your life, you're kind of going, I, I think I have my value, my, my priorities change. So it's like, I love to work, but, you know. <laughs> now it's like I tell my husband, now we've been married four years. I'm like, pack your suitcase, we're going. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Someone wanted to ask, wanted to know if you had German heritage because your accent is so spot on. Oh, thank you. I made it up. Um, no, <laughs> actually, I have to say, I, I do speak some languages because my parents are Hungarian, so we spoke Hungarian at home, and I studied Russian in school and French and Spanish. So those oh, wow. have pretty much stayed with me. Wow. And, and But the accents, I have to say, I love them because my parents had thick Hungarian accents, wow. and I used to make fun, merciless fun. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. My, my mom would say, Kati, what do you want for breakfast? <laughs> mommy, I don't know what I want. Why you speak like that? I don't speak like that. Oh, mommy, you speak. So we, this oh, one wow. for years and years and years. And, and I think because I, you know, I have the, and the music, yeah. I think the musicality, so I've always enjoyed roles with accents. And German isn't something, I, I did it once in, a, in a, I think it was Covert Affairs, or Fairly Legal, one of those shows. I had to play an Austrian yeah. woman. That was the only time. But yeah. but uh, they were like she, you're Swiss German. She's very educated. Well, okay. Dr. Obrecht, so I thought can't be too hooked has because okay. also you have to understand when the audience how much they can oh. understand. Oh, so we got we have a phone call. Hi. They got through. I just keep talking. No people, yeah. no, people, no, people, no, people were saying no, people were saying they had some problems. They were calling <laughs> yeah, in, but they, someone like, got through. Oh, so we got, we welcome to GH yeah. reports. And who? What is your name and uh, where are you calling from? Hello. Who is this? <laughs> Hello? You got through. Yeah. Where are you? <laughs> you don't want to talk to me. I talk. Oh, I guess that person didn't, didn't, it's not, hello? Oh, I heard something. Yeah, hello? I think they're there. Modern technology. Oh, we'll try to get into modern technology. I heard something, I heard something in the background. I don't know what happened. So I made up the accent. Yes. Because I thought German would be too strong, and she was in Switzerland, yeah. and she's educated in England. She's like, yeah. traveled around the world very worldly, so it's kind of a Swiss, it's sort of like a British, English something. Okay. Okay. And then I run it with Michael at night, and he goes, that sounded too British. That was too German. <laughs> that was kind of like... <laughs> oh, I love it. Ooh, we're going to try it again. We have another phone call. 
Welcome, let's see, welcome to the GH Report. What is your name and where are you calling from? Hi. 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 My name, oh God, hold on. Can I take this off of Bluetooth? What's going on? Hmm? You need to go to the bathroom? I'm... No, <laughs> I'm on Bluetooth right now. You're on Bluetooth? Yeah. <laughs> We're on yellow and black Bluetooth. Yes. yes. So you, you have Kathleen Gotti. What would you like to say? Okay. Hi. Sorry. <laughs> I'm Simran. I'm calling from Florida. Oh hey. oh, hey. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. I tried calling earlier, and I think we got disconnected. Okay. Um, or something. Whatever. Okay. Hi, Kathleen. Hi. It's really nice to talk to you. You're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I wanted to ask you uh, about Brit and Obrecht because mm -hmm. I thought that story, you you guys' relationship was just so well done on screen. And it was really different because it wasn't a lot of the mother-daughter relationships on GH. I mean, you see the mother really, really loves their child. And I think mm -hmm. Obrecht kind of resented Brit a little bit. And it was just really interesting to see their their relationship play out. And I was just wondering if you would, you know, like Britt to come back to kind of explore that. I really miss Britt, and I thought you guys were great. I do too. Together. And Kelly's a lovely girl and great actress. She was lovely to work with. Yeah, it was interesting how they made the mother daughter relationship. The first, you know, if you remember the first time in the park, I slap her face. Yes. I was like, I'm yeah. like, oh, oh man. my God, that was crazy. <laughs> it broke my heart to oh, do that. Oh, I was sure. like, she said, hit me, hit me. I'm like, no, no. So, and, they, and they, it's actually in those in, you know, technical secrets, yes. but we were like a foot apart, so I actually didn't even touch her face. Oh, okay. It's really okay. well done, so, you okay. know, we don't hurt anybody. Yeah. I did that once in a play, and the guy still has a red mark 30 years later. Oh, so dang. No. Oh, I, was, I was like, dang. Oh, he got back, no. Like, but um, <laughs> so that was really hard for me as a person to, mm. to have that sort of uh, troubled relationship. But it was interesting because she resented the daughter, Brit, because she had to leave, you know, Cesar. I guess she had to give up. Nathan and there's a lot mm -hmm. of resentment and she couldn't have Cesar because you know of, of the child so there was so much resentment and there's a lot of the story that never really you know not all of it came out but yeah. it was it was it was and hard. I, I think I think you know Brick could come back and she can totally date Morgan and then Morgan can have a crazy oh mother-in-law like Obrecht and then we just add to the crazy Corinthos family <laughs> Because you know in real it's life true. they're together, in real life they're engaged. And Morgan needs it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah so Brian Craig and her is so funny. Yeah. And in real life, I yeah. know. <laughs> and he's a sweetie. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. yeah, I wish she'd come and, back. Uh, yes? Sorry, just one more thing. Um, oh, hi, Jane. Tyler Keish. I don't think I got really excited. Hey, hey, That's fine. <laughs> Kathleen's here. It's fine, girl. It's fine. Um, you, are you going to be singing at the nurse's ball? Mm -hmm. Because I remember you are so You want me to get fired? I remember <laughs> years ago. I can sing now. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. You were really song. I don't know if you can, because you, yeah. well, you're a records clerk now, aren't you? Song? I don't know what you are. I don't know what you are oh, down there. Oh, that was so funny because, I know. Yeah. yeah. When I got fired so, last I mean, year. So, they filmed the nurse's ball already. Do you, can you say anything or no? It's mm -hmm. fun. Let me just say it's going to be fun. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to awesome. say. Okay. Yes, that's all she can say. I'm going to say I'm around, and you're going to have a great time, and I think, I think it's going to be a great show. They really did a great show this year. I, 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 uh, that's okay. all I can say, because I don't want to lose my job, and I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but yeah. it's going to be so much fun. And where are you in Florida? Yeah, I'm from Florida. Where? Where, mm -hmm. where are you calling from? In Orlando. Oh. Orlando. Well, I'm going to be doing a show out there, there on October really? 15th. Yes. So cool. Okay, so, well, I have to Google that now. Well, tell, no. people, tell people where I'll can... tell you where. October 15th, Your Number One Fan is the website for that. Your Number One Fan, just the way it sounds, dot com. Okay. Yes. And, or you can look up my fan club page, KathleenGaddyFanClub.com. Or my awesome. Twitter page. Just follow me on Twitter or on Facebook. It's pretty much posted everywhere. I'll be there. I will definitely do that. I'll be there October 15th, and I'll be in uh, New York and Long Island on... The following weekend, the 22nd and 23rd of October, that's through um, GH Fantasy events. And actually, June 25th, I will be in Boston doing an event. Mm -hmm. So whoever is in Boston, and then again, that's at your number one fan and dot com or KathleenGaddyFanClub.com. So see all my events, what's coming yes. up. Yes. Well, thank right. you for calling. Thank you for calling, thank you for calling right. and thank you. Thank and you. yes, I'll, if I talk to Britt or Kelly, I'll. Tell her you love her. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I love her and I loved you on Arrow. I just wanted to say <laughs> oh, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye we have, we'll take one more phone call. Sorry for folks who couldn't get through. At least we were having some problems. Couldn't get through. But we have one more phone call we'll take. And you're on GH Report. And what is your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. My name is Daniela from Germany. <gasps> from ah, Germany. Guten Tag. 
Nein, was ist los? Hi, hi James, hi Lucretia. Okay. Okay. Hallo, hallo, guten so, Tag. so happy for the air kiss you give me. Oh, danke schön. <lacht> danke schön, danke sehr. And uh, yeah, I have to go back from the screen because we have a little time lapse. Yeah, uh, you're so spot on with a German accent. Oh, you, you know what, that very, means so I much to me. a thick accent, but every time I hear you, I just have to pause and repeat the line and just <laughs> celebrate the accent. It's so great. Thank you, that means and everything. And savor in every syllable. You can just like feel the joy, as, as you just okay. said, uh, of your Hungarian Thank parents you. and stuff. It's wonderful. Thank you Every so much. Every time Lisa comes on the screen, it, the screen lights up for me. Oh, thank oh. you. That means so much. It really does. I really, I loved working in Europe. And anytime Europeans, you know, say something, we, my husband and I were in, in Vienna Ooh. a few months ago, and people, there were fans there that they stopped me. Oh, wow. love you. I'm like, oh, really in Europe? Oh, in so Europe, when yeah. people contact me from Europe, it means a lot. It's kind of close to my heart. Very, very oh. close to my heart. And I love all the fans, but it's very special. And we're so happy at GH Report and this that you're watching us from Germany. We yeah. really appreciate. I really appreciate this. It's really nice. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> it's, it's always a pleasure to watch you. And I have uh, one question um, about the love life of Liesel, because uh, Pinot the lack has a great love of her life, <laughs> right? Yeah. And um, she said, oh, I come later to your island because of Nathan, I have to stay here. And she never did. In your mind, did she visit him? <laughs> Or did she just, oh, I seduced him, okay, I forget about him. Um. No, I, I think that was a turning point in her life where she made that choice that she realized, and again, I don't know, this might change, but, you know, it's always in the soap. You never know what you get. Each day's script sort of changes, and you go, oh, no, I thought it was this thing, and now mm -hmm. it's this way. But I think at that point that was a turning point for her with Cesar Faison, and she realized that that's not going to go anywhere. He isn't there for me, and my son is, and I, and I haven't been there for my son. I'm going to start crying with yeah. me. I love it. I love it. I don't know. I love it. For a sexy holiday, like not even like for a weekend or something. <laughs> it's a long boat ride to wherever they are. Uh, and I'm getting nauseous. I get seasick. So it's a very have to really consider these oh God, boat I trips. I love it. <laughs> Oh. I, I'd be curious okay. to see what happens. Uh, yeah, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Daniela. Mwah. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye you all. Oh, how sweet. That was sweet. That means Before a lot. For a German to tell you that you have a good German accent, I'm sure that, that really... That means a lot. And there's yeah. another woman, Andrea Hofer. She's in, also yeah. in Germany, and she comes to all the fan club events. We're doing a bin wow. in, in August, actually. The, July 31st, I'm doing yeah. a big fan club event here in, in Los Angeles oh, okay. with the oh, wow. General Hospital Fan Club Weekend where all the actors show up. Okay. And we do individual events, too. And she comes every year from Germany, yeah. and it means so mm -hmm. much. So people travel yeah. from Italy, Germany, Israel, all over the world, yeah. and all over the States, and all over Canada. It's heart yeah, not heart wrenching. It's it's incredible that yeah. you you fans are amazing and and we have this show and we have this the show's been on 52, 53 yeah, years, years I think yeah. 53 because of you because of the fans and it's just every time I meet somebody every time somebody yeah. smiles or says something it is a gift yeah it is an award it yeah. is a prize yeah, it, it is. really is because we're fans fortunate are amazing mm -hmm. yeah can you say to the camera hi to Naxi forever mm -hmm. hello Naxi forever mm -hmm. <laughs> she's been wanting to get in she's trying to get through she couldn't yeah. get through so oh, she's a big fan. Mm -hmm. what, what, any questions does she have a question what is her question mm -hmm. we have a few moments if you have a question send can, your text question I'll answer you we have something in there we need you to sing more Jade. thank you I have to say I because I'm trained singer, yeah. trained dancer, that whenever I get to sing or perform, I'm just like the happiest, yeah. like a piggy and poo poo. Because, <laughs> because I really, that's you know, I'm that's my training, yeah. uh, my dance background, singing, yeah. acting. I just and I get to do it all, and that's when I'm like yeah. in seventh heaven. So I'm like, do I get to sing? Do I get to dance? Exactly. So when I get, they say you have a song. I'm like, like we talked about Krampus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't sing, but that was wild. Oh, I know that was <laughs> that crazy. Was I loved it. Krampus. Sure, yes. It's a German yeah. Krampus. They made a movie out of it. They did. Actually, they did. They did. I know. I wish you were in the movie. It's <laughs> a funny movie. <laughs> well, folks, we have to go because Dish and Days is next. <laughs> Unfortunately, so we have to, we actually have to end this, but we thank nine, you so much nine, for being. Nine, you have to come back. You have to come back. I will. I have so many more stories. I know. You have to come back. You're, you're, I talk so much. I can't stop. And then, <laughs> now you start the flow and it doesn't stop. And now where am I going to do my poor husband? I will kill him with all this dialogue. He will go crazy. I love that. Oh my God. Sorry. You're welcome back anytime. <laughs> anytime you want to. Any, anytime. Oh, she just says Atlantic, Atlantic Canada loves you. Come for the lobster. <gasps> 
Oh, I love thank the you, lobster. lobster. There. Oh, I know. And I'm like, they, they can send some. Yum. Send something mm-hmm. to anybody. Send some. We love lobster yes. with the melted butter. Oh, Ooh, oh yes, my God. But, you know, no, thank you. Good. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me, guys. You guys are awesome. Yes, and love you, fans. Yeah. And thank you for listening and participating. And yes. thank you. And they can find, tell them where they can actually find, again, where they can find you in all your events. Well, KathleenGattyFanClub.com or at Gatti Tweets, G A T I T W E E T S, on Twitter or on Facebook, and all my events are up there, and hope to see you at one of them. Please come and say hi. All right. Lucretia, tell me where you can find you. And, guys, you can find me at L-A-C-R-E-T-I-A-L-Y-O-N, anywhere on the Internet, since there is only one. And be sure to watch the season finale of After Buzz Castle on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Oh. as we oh. probably get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about that before you got here. She does the after so show for it. Yeah. I'm okay. You know, my favorite is so good to watch. Yeah. And I'm James Lott Jr. You can follow me uh, consoling her anywhere on the interwebs at James Lott Jr. Just the spotlight on, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.